Okay, we're live on YouTube. Okay, wonderful. So welcome everybody. This is a special program sponsored by the Diker Library of the Brooklyn Public Library. And uh, we are video recording the session. If you are not uh, going to show your name or face, uh, that's okay. You could change your name to a different name, or you could just turn off your video camera. So it's to provide your, uh, protect your privacy. Welcome Henry Lee, who will teach us a new style of painting. Here's Henry. Thanks, Yuna. Can I uh, spotlight? Yes. Spotlight? Uh, let me see. Sorry, I got uh, speaker room. Okay, spotlight. Uh, is is that on? Anyway, can you see my? Yes. Okay, now we are on. Okay. Oops. Perfect. Sorry. Spotlight for everybody now. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. okay. Um, welcome back to uh, this uh, class on Shimazuri style painting. The first class, if you recall, was uh, on uh, the Earth Day or the day after Earth Day last month. We did the uh, Shimazuri uh, cards, <laughs> I call it card pattern, uh, with the bee and the um, and uh, lavender or uh, wild wild flowers, right? If you if you uh, recall, uh, so basically we sh we uh, create a continue continuous uh, the repeated pattern by shifting uh, the cards like uh, like this. You can uh, shift it back uh, like a, a left and right and the top and the uh, bottom. Uh, you can also, uh, we started with the diagonal, uh, like... Uh, Henry, sorry, um, the YouTube link seems to be to waiting for you to start. Let me see. It says waiting for Henry. Uh, maybe it was a wrong link. Uh, oh, did uh, I get the... the... Um, I, I, uh, I'm on maybe another, can you go check uh, my my uh, let me send you a link hold on i think the link you followed probably is a different one uh maybe from uh yesterday oh maybe i i got uh wrong one here hmm the link i have is uh, session one session one uh, session eight excellent uh okay let me let me just double check with you the link. I'm gonna put it in the chat room right now. Okay. Just uh, make sure. Okay, chat room. Where's the chat? Okay, here. Okay, it's in the chat room. Mm -hmm. For yeah, if you can see that link. Yeah, that is the NGBC one. Yes. That is the link. Um, is that live? No, it says waiting for Henry Lee. Oh. And 13 people waiting. Oh, okay. Let me see what's... Uh, hmm. Weird. Let me see, how do I fix this? Sorry. Uh, so where's the streaming settings? Oh, here. Okay, I think maybe I was... Uh, okay, let me check, let me double check. Okay, now I think it, it, it's working now. Really? Uh, but I cannot see, that's weird. <laughs> Um, no, wait. No, sorry. Now it's something else. Oh, now okay. No, yeah. I, I, I'm looking at it right now. It's, it's oh. working. Maybe it was an early mm -hmm. version. Let me see. Is it still live? There's 11 people watching, mm -hmm. but. Uh, uh, this is okay. wrong. This is the one that was the 
Saturday, April 23rd. Okay. I think, this okay. particular the, link was the one that was for okay, okay. Saturday. Um, Okay, let me let me copy this one. I think it, I, we got confusion here because it's so close. The computer. Uh, let me uh, uh, let me send you the uh, another link. I think this one is, is live. I can see. Oh. Sorry about the the college. Okay, so uh, this is different. I think the same link. Right? No problem. Okay. Someone, someone confirmed the link is working anyway. So uh, maybe your cache or something uh, no, is not updated. I, anyway, I think we're, we're looking okay, at it. Okay, it says hmm, not watching now. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. No. Mm -hmm. Okay, so everyone else is able to watch, I guess. Okay, 10 watching now, so that must be fine. So again, a reminder that this is uh, being recorded. Um, if you do not want to be visible online, turn off your um, video camera on your side. If you don't want your name to be visible, you could change it to a different name or erase your name. Thank you. Okay. Um, yeah, we. I just briefly mentioned uh, the, the way we did uh, with uh, uh, that the uh, pattern. Uh, in early session and uh, now we are going to introduce another one which is I call it uh, the folding folding method uh, to 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 make it faster to make up the time we lost uh, I'll just go with uh, with this so basically uh, to recreate this pattern this is already the end result and this is the process guide uh, you can if you have a piece of computer paper, you just follow me. Okay, so basically, you make a triangle, and then you cut the remaining, the extra bottom of that. Uh, I don't have this knife. I'll just do it like this. Okay, then you, I think it's not very accurate. It need to be very square, so I use this paper cutter to trim it. So it should be eight and a half by eight and a half. If you do it uh, uh, mathematically, uh, math. Yeah. Okay, the number is uh, eight and a half. The width equals to the width of the computer paper, right? Now uh, we. I think we, we can fold it again just for the guide, for the grids. So this is a, another diagonal. Try to, to match the, uh, the corners. Okay, and then um, you fold the paper like this towards the, the middle, the, the uh, center point. Okay, so that's the, let's just say vertical guide. And then we do another uh, another direction, the top and the bottom, or whatever. You do the first, do the other direction. So now you, you have the uh, grid, I call it. Okay, <coughs> right. <coughs> so uh, the first thing uh, is to you look at the end result. Uh, remember the game. The, has a rule that you don't want to touch any edges uh, in each uh, scene. Okay, so uh, what I do is uh, let, let me just uh, uh, let me just draw a template first. So we, we, we roughly identify them as with the numbers. So this this. Uh, Orange is here, or, or Mandarin is here. Number two is here. That that you know cross this line. So uh, the grid help you also control the size of the fruits. So you don't paint too small or too big. Okay. So it's about two inch, two inch uh, diag diagonal. Uh, I mean <laughs> diameter. 
Yeah, you, it could be larger, I think, this one. This one could be even larger. So at this point, you can erase and you can change. This is just the, the process. Because in Schumann's painting, uh, just like uh, uh, Gombe, or elaborated style, decorative painting, we, we need to develop a, a draft and a, a template. So uh, um, the first step is always uh, just drawing. Um, so we got uh, one, two, and the three, right? So uh, uh, now I show you how to get the the four and the five. You you, you just um, imagine this is a uh, like a, a, a round tube or or a lantern cover. You know, you, you, so you can see around, but uh, uh, we don't have to put a tube inside. You just fold it like that. So um, you have this uh, this view. Um, and uh, you can do number four. Um, and uh, let me see where I should uh, point. So number four and five um, is roughly, um, let me see, how do I identify that? Let's say that there's a horizontal line. So number four, cross that. So any in any thing, the, the up, object is right in the middle somewhere right so number four and then number five number five uh, is uh, uh, under it but don't put it in in a straight line so actually this is not very good it could be more towards the the, the right a little bit more towards the right try to avoid uh, parallel or right, you know, like a alignment, a straight alignment. So that's to that number four. It it doesn't matter actually, uh, as as long as you paint the roots roughly the same size, um, and leave some space for the leaves. Uh, don't align them like on a on a on a uh, axle. Uh, it will be fine. So one on the left, on the, it could be reversed. So four on this side, five on this side doesn't matter so it's just uh, off a little bit to make it more organic look if uh, to avoid parallels or straight alignment okay so this is number four and the five and then we do the um, this is the finish line. Yeah, yeah something like this so this is uh, number four and five right number six and uh, Two, three, four, five. Yeah, number six and uh, um, eight. Right. We fold it uh, vertically, so you have the space like this. Okay. So I uh, this one is already finished. So I I can show you the position. Okay, number six and uh, uh, seven. This should be. It could be seven is here. Eight. Yeah, I think I numbered a little bit differently. Um, anyway, so like like this, but uh, I I'm looking at this way. So just uh, like this, the so number six is here. This is my uh, finished uh, uh, practice. So you can take this as uh, as your reference uh, while you're watching watching me doing the new one. Okay, so this is number six. Number six. And, and then number seven, uh, I'll, I'll remember it. Number seven, number eight is hidden still. So the, in principle, we don't paint anything that's not complete in this view. Okay, so number seven. And where's number, number eight? It's a little bit tricky. To get number eight, we need to, that the one on the corner, we need to do this. Why you still have this folded, okay? And uh, we, we do this like that. So you have like a, um, to get this corner, I think, this one. So you have a space on the four corners here. <laughs> That's a very tricky part. So you, you draw another one. I think we, we don't have, we have something that's uh, taken the space. So anyway, that's the original. Uh, design is right here, some somewhere, something like this. 
that's number eight, I think. Okay, so it's let me just squeeze in there. Let me do a smaller one. Oh, you can sorry, name. uh, Henry, we lost. You lost. You yeah, don't... we only get a one number one. Okay, two, I'll do three, it again. And then we no. lost the, the rest of them. Can you just the, the open the paper to show the numbers and okay, we can let, let me again? Just do this one. Uh, this okay, is this is you. this is a good one. Let me uh, let me try to match the numbers first. One, two, three, eight. Okay, I, I just follow this system. That uh, I think I shouldn't change the number. Uh, this number is uh, is matching the handout. So I think uh, I I I'm sorry about the confusion. So do this again. So we have the square feet. Uh, square square uh, first, right? Don't fold it. Just uh, follow the the grids. So you have this. Uh, if you follow the grids on the handout here, you can you can. I just confirm this. So this is number one. If you start from scratch, uh, you sh should have a clean paper like this, uh, like a um, a square, right? So number two is uh, roughly here. That cross this this vertical bar here. Number two, number three, right there. Okay, uh, to help you help to help you um, understand, I I can start to draw some of the leaves because some uh, leaves like in between the those the individual leaves doesn't matter. You can uh, fit in later, but for these large ones, that like this number three and the number two, it has leaves attached. So I have a stem here. And I will draw something like the bamboo leaves, uh, like this, like that, and uh, like that. This is like a stroke, a stroke guide. Later, we, we don't have to draw the line. We can just fill, uh, paint it directly uh, with this template. Okay. Then th this one has a, um, uh, some leaves attached. But but uh, if you don't have those uh, this those round uh, shape yet, you probably can do it. You know you can return to this page later to do this because you might uh, lose the the space. So be careful. You know you can you can save a, a space there if you don't want to estimate. You know so you 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 can leave some room for extra leaves so those little loose leaves you don't need to do you can do just uh, this two maybe you know uh, omit that one that's too close to the uh, to the other fruit to number eight on them so we, we should have this number one number three and number um, are you following me now Did, yes okay very Thank clear you. okay now now the second to um, scene a second view. I don't know what exactly the the, the word um, to to use. Just fold it uh, vertically. Uh -huh. Okay, and then turn back. So you will um, and this this reference doesn't show you this. So just follow. Look at my screen. Okay, look at my screen. So where's number four? It's right here. So about one third on the right side, and one um, I'm sorry, one third on the left side, and two thirds on the on the um, right side of this uh, seam line. Okay, that's number four. Are you following following me? That's a that's about this cross. You know this uh, this uh, for this uh, horizontal um, and vertical line. And the second one is actually in the middle section of this uh, paper, but a little bit, uh, of course, it's under number four and uh, about a half, half and a half. But um, I will. Henry, make, I'm yeah. sorry, I muted you by mistake. Okay. You Can need to unmute. Oh. Henry, I muted you by mistake. I'm sorry. No problem. You need to unmute. Unmute, okay. Sorry. Thank you. I can hear you. No, can you hear me? Okay. Okay. Uh, let me just repeat. The number four is right here. Uh, using the grids as your reference, 
you know, as your guide. And the number five is right under it. Don't uh, align it exactly. So you can have a little bit maybe on, more on this side instead of uh, equally divide. But doesn't matter, you know, it, it, it could have half and a half. I got it half and a half. As long as you don't touch another fruit, uh, you, can, you can make overlappings. I think it uh, doesn't matter. But uh, uh, if you want to copy exactly the design we have, uh, just keep it separated. So this is number five. We only have two on this uh, view because the, the bottom one, uh, seven, is, uh, uh, you know, we have to fold it again. So you can fold it uh, like this right now, or you can do it later. Uh, I think probably we just do it like this because uh, uh, the principle is these two ends meet in the in the uh, repeated pattern when you when you make uh, uh, propagate uh, when you later propagate them with copies copy machine or or Photoshop. Uh, but you can also do it later like this. <laughs> you just open this, and then uh, you fold it uh, the other direction, horizontally like this. So you you, you also get um, actually no, that's a different view. Okay, I have to do the seven in this view if we follow the sequence. I think so. One, two, three. Okay, here here's the four and five. Right, you still on this page? Right, the the second view, not the third view, the third the third um, view to get this uh, bottom one done completely. You fold it up, and then the the top down. So you it make all the all the corners meet at the at the middle of this little square, and then you draw this uh, number seven across the con the corner of the four uh, quadrants, okay? And then I number it. You don't have to put a number, but it's good to have uh, to, you know, so no, you know where you are. Uh, this one just a draft. I consider it's a draft. Later we'll make a clean copies, you know, we, we trace it with ink or something, make a good template. And then you can use, reuse it uh, to, to uh, duplicate them. So this is number seven. Any questions so far? No questions? Is, is uh, yes, I have a question. Number six, where is number six? Good question. So I, I jumped to number seven. I actually, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I think I confused. I'm sorry, that's a good question. So uh, I, I, number seven should be uh, later um, because I, got, I had the number a little bit, <laughs> eight and six on the same page. That confused me. Anyway, I, because I numbered on the final product, so I, I didn't really follow this, uh, the sequence of the folding. I'm sorry about that. Okay, now let's go back to number six, right? Okay, so just to open the, open the paper like this uh, with one, two, three, and uh, four, five, right? Forget about the seven, okay? Just like, like this, right? So open, open the entire um, paper the square and then you fold it horizontally and then turn back like this okay so you have another view here right with the horizontal seam you get you can see partially the three on top that's the orientation I got and uh, forget about the seven so you will see something like this right if you have done seven you will see the seven on the corner already so let's let's confirm this one Number six. Number six is uh, right on uh, on the seam line. Uh, under under the uh, three, and this one is on the right right side. Uh, it's also a complete space, a space uh, for for number. Uh, I just number numbered number eight. Let's stay with that. Otherwise, uh, we'll lose track because that's how I I marked on the final product. Okay. And then um, to get number seven, actually you can do it from here also. I think it's probably easier. Yeah, see, number seven is here. 
Uh, you can approach it, this one from either directions. Just to, uh, fold it again from the rectangular back to a smaller square. You'll get this, uh, this, uh, this four quadrants where you can do the number seven or the last one, whichever you, you, you call it. It could be number eight if you <laughs> want. This, this actually should be done after number eight. Um, logically, yeah, more, more um, mathematical in sequential order. But uh, it's, it's a puzzle, just the uh, marking is not important. It's not important. If you uh, forget about number, you can, you can create uh, uh, five or, or ten or whatever, whatever number it is. You can do small fruits like you know pe uh, cherries or other fruits the same way. So it doesn't matter how many uh, those shapes. But uh, uh, to decode this, this uh, uh, actually I I I I downloaded it from uh, internet. Uh, I I just decode it. <laughs> you know how how you do it without a computer in traditional way. And um, I hope this uh, this is uh, uh, something different from the first method. So basically, you don't need to cut it. Actually, this has a practical practical reason to do that. Okay, now we have the sized paper, which is called uh, which is called uh, a cigata wing. It's the thinnest. It's the thinnest uh, paper. Uh, it's almost like a tracing paper. You can see see through it, right? People like this for two reasons. One is the transparency or translucency. You can use, uh, you can trace your template very easily. You, know, you can see the, the, the design like that. Okay, another uh, reason is it's not uh, absorbent. It's sized. It has a shiny side as a, um, the, the other thicker version of this uh, size paper with the sh uh, shimmering, uh, shimmering uh, mica. It's a lot like uh, some particles from the shell, uh, seashell, something like sparking, sparking things, uh, shimmer, right? shimmer or uh, mi mica. I don't know how, mica, right? Mica. Um, that's the, the word for, for that little little sparkling things. I don't think you can see it, uh, but that's the front side. That's very important. It's the, the side to pin on. And what I did here is to put a silicone paper, a, a, a film, under it. Um, this will help to to um, flatten it, keep it flat. You can see the, the wrinkles on this one, right? It's the same uh, before I, I mount it. Now I have mounted. Usually you mount it uh, after painting, but uh, in Western style painting or Gombi painting, we, uh, we, we usually uh, prefer to work on wrinkle-free paper. So we would uh, normally stretch it first. Okay, uh, you can just do it uh, with the release paper on, or you can release it um, and then um, fold it. Uh, let me see how do I, uh, I, I, I mean transfer it to a harder space. But I want to keep the, the, the flexibility of uh, uh, to, you know, ma making uh, same kind of folds. So I can, I can probably do it just like, a, like, a, uh, like this. So we can, I can paint it without uh, uh, mounting it maybe. You know, you can use a little uh, tape to, to fix it. And all you can just hold with your hand because it's not very complicated. So we just do it like that. Let me do a quick uh, study. Uh, maybe I, I omit uh, the second practice. But, uh, so I just painted this one because I wasn't really sure we have time to do all exercise. We'll see. Let me just get an orange color. Okay, and then start doing the painting. Okay. So we're on this page still. So this is the template. My paper is a little bit small. I wish it would still work. 
yeah, maybe, maybe you know, I'll adjust it. So, and then we've got some oranges, and orange color. We can mix uh, some some cardium yellow and the cardium red to get orange. Okay, and you can then uh, add a little blue to green it, you know, to vary the color, or add a little more uh, red to it. So basically, it's a Look at the, the real orange here, they're very uh, different. Actually, the orange, uh, and this is lemon, and this is orange uh, from our yard, backyard. And this is, I bought from the um, supermarket. Uh, this is called the Mandarin. Mandarin. Mandarins is uh, an a ancient uh, version of the uh, uh, what we call the honey orange or miji honey honey mandarins we just call it i think yongle your your home area is very like fujian right has a lot of mandarins like yeah yeah we we always got huangye huangye miji right yeah and the, the difference is like uh, you can um, peer the the like this, right? So you can see the the um, fruit. Uh, it's easy to separate from the skin, so you don't cut it. So when you when you paint inside, if you do still life, you can easily tell it's a tanger, uh, tangerine. It's also called tangerine, right? Uh, a mandarin. Uh, Henry. From, yeah. There is a question about the paper you are using right now. Are you yeah. actually using the silk paper or? No, uh, I'm using. What the, are you using? I'm using this. Uh, uh, can you spell it for me? Cicada wing paper. Maybe Victoria, you can put in a link to the. How do you spell? Cicada is the Jiliao, the is a uh, insect making. Cicada. 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 Yeah, because it's like so. Um, Cicada okay. wing. Cicada is the, the the summer insect you see you hear in Asian countries. C I C A D A. Yeah. Cicada. Cicada. C I C E K. Cicada. C I A D A. Cicada. Cicada. Sorry. Yeah, I think the I I pronounce cicada. Cicada wing. Cicada wing is the uh, the name of this paper. Um, Chan Chan Yi. But sometimes they translate they they. they uh, manufactured near the the market as a tan yi, uh, you know, as a, the closet of a, a monk, a Zen monk. But actually, it's the same pronunciation, tan yi, or it should be chan yi, or chikata, chikata, chikata wing is the original uh, word for that. I think, I, so I use the, uh, I translate it uh, in, uh, in English as a chikata wing, because the, the thinness of that is is transparent, uh, translucent as a wing of the, the insect. Okay, so you can you can um, you can paint like a directly, and you um, you have to mount it to see the true color because it's so thin. Uh, and better put it on a white paper to work to see better. So it doesn't. Uh, smear you know and so fine so so um, delicate I just do a like a, a circle of uh, this and you can vary a little bit maybe you know a little bit yellow and for for this one it's a, it's a little smaller too Okay, I just draw like that. But uh, if you are used to draw a contour and then fill in, fill, fill, uh, fill in with the, uh, the color little by little, that's fine. That's just the, uh, your, uh, you know, your way of doing that. I know a lot of people like it. Uh, let, me, let me show you. Uh, Henry? Yeah. Someone asked if they could use a sparkly shuan paper. Yeah, that's it. That's a sparkly shuan. Is it sized? Yeah, yeah. It's called a um, sized shuan with a 
mica. Spike Lee is the mica. Same thing, because th this is the this is the thinner version of it, a thinner version of the Spike Lee shrine, right? It's it's a, it's the same Spike Lee. Actually, um, you cannot see it, but uh, it has uh, the Spike Lee shimmer or something like that. Okay, so th this is the. Um, the one, two, threes. Okay, I, I can vary a little bit. I don't want to, uh, the 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 shape is so round because you, if you look at the, this, this has a little bit uh, squarish feel. Uh, it's it's a more like a uh, let's say just say a little like a, uh, flat as a persimmon shape, but not so so flat. But but you uh, depends on the perspective. Maybe you 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 could have a little bit. A little bit uh, variation, so it doesn't look too mechanical. You know, it could have a little bit. Uh, actually, you know, some odd, some shape like this. It has more like a, like a uh, lemon shape, a oval shape. It's the same um, same fruit. Yeah, so it could you could have a little bit. But this is back view. I, I'll keep it wrong. We don't do the end or the stem, uh, all of them, but uh, some of them, it's, it will be in green color. So um, let's just say um, this is, let me, let me try it. Okay, on, on this paper, uh, it's important not to have the, the stains. Uh, so what uh, uh, the Gombi style painting or this uh, Shimosuri painting artists do is they use two two paint, two brush technique. Another brush is clean, but uh, uh, can, uh, clean and damp. Uh, you wet it and then you squeeze out extra moisture to use it uh, as a as a as a uh, uh, sponge kind of. You you take out the extra moisture from the surface, and uh, another way of doing this is to uh, just deliver the color in the middle, and then you spread it out, or you put the color around the edge, and then pull it towards the center. Maybe even leave a highlight uh, to have a gradation. But uh, at this point, because this is two dimensional. Design. I really don't want to have the lighting effect or or the three D effect. Okay. Just uh, try it a little bit so it doesn't um, move when I fold it. Uh, if you have something like a, I was trying to find a, a glass or something, <coughs> you can you can do it without folding. You know, you can just like uh, put it uh, on a on a hard uh, center, a tube, like a paper tube or something. Maybe uh, yeah, I, I probably I should have a like a mailing ma ma mailing tube that you can put on around it, and you can paint like that, you know. But um, um, let me let me show you the magic of this. On on some video I've seen uh, how do how how do a company called the uh, what is called the the name of the company. Oh, uh, Gonet, Gonet in in UK. Uh, if you look, if you search on on YouTube, you'll find that video. They how how it was made. The the wallpaper they're making. They they mount uh, fabric or silk behind uh, mulberry paper, so it could be uh, crinkled. Actually, crink they crinkle it. They make it look old with cracks, but without to. Uh, Tearing it, so it's 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 something like that. Right? Okay, so 
I forgot which is the top. Okay. Not this one. Okay, I'm going to do the the, the other side like this. It doesn't have to be exactly you know half and half, I think. Since I don't have the grids. But you have to match this this uh, edges pretty good. Like this. But still I think it's kinda hard to paint without uh, touching the other side. So maybe we should put a little piece uh, in the middle. I didn't prepare for this, but I'll just show you the method. Uh, if you match very carefully, you can just do it without, because advantage of uh, silicone paper is waterproof. Waterproof, it, it will not penetrate through, even though this uh, paper is uh, uh, waterproof already. But, you know, it, silicone paper actually make it uh, more uh, durable. So you can do this like that. I, I'll just go ahead and paint it. Let's see what happens. Okay, number four on top, whatever. And then um, another one on the bottom. But I, I'll leave room for, for um, another one, I think. Let's just uh, do it in the middle somewhere, right? Let's just try to keep it the same line match. You can easily edit it on your phone or on a computer with, after you take a picture to, to fix the gap. But uh, it's good to match as, as good as I can. Okay, let's just leave a little white line. Okay, let me draw it. The, um, which, whichever number, forget about the numbers, just follow the, the um, uh, steps here. Okay, and you can use the computer paper to do this. You don't have to, if you don't have the size um, shuan uh, or cicada uh, wing shuan, you can use uh, uh, computer paper or any other hot press paper, which is uh, non absorbent. Okay, then, then I will do the Top Henry, end. yeah, Charlene, I cannot see your. I cannot see you. Can I? Okay, you cannot. Your audio. Oh, you, you should be on uh, speaker view. Let me see. Can I uh, make sure I'm? I was on there, and then. Okay, you you should go to a uh, speaker view. All right. How do I do that? There's a gallery view. What are you seeing? Are you seeing people's faces? Uh, I'm in, you know, there's one line and then there's a, a kind of dot, dot more bigger than that. It says show active speaker video. Hold on, let me, no, because I'm the active speaker. Um, you know, there are different, okay, the, let the me, gallery, me. you show up in the gallery but not in the other, you know, where where uh, I don't, the gallery, I was over to the right hand side, now it covers my whole page. Hello, 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 hello. So I can see you, you're speaking. Uh, let me just uh, redo the spotlight. Can you see me now? No. Nope. I think um, maybe, I the, maybe the someone, Maybe someone in the chat room, or you can. Um, so, um, if you can see the Henry's uh, screen in the gallery, yes. Go to his screen in the gallery. There should be the three dots somewhere there. 
Uh -huh. Where we could pin him. Uh, when you pin him, then he will stay. And oh, there's his chair. Do you see anything about pinning him? Not in the three dots, no. Okay, if you are on an iPad, which it's possible that you're on, um, are you on an iPad? No, I'm on Mac uh, Book Pro. Okay, that may be, is that a computer? Yes, it's a laptop computer. It's a 16-inch la laptop computer. So what are, are you... you... Is it touch sensitive? Because if you're on gallery view, and if you touch his um, box very gently twice, it should come up pin, and then you touch on that, and you should pin him. Yeah, I already pinned for everybody, so it's not the issue, I think, here. She probably yeah. uh, she probably minimized the, 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 the window or something. Can you see I anything I at all? I when I did, I lost you. Okay, can you see somebody else? Can you see anybody there? I can see everybody. So you're in through. gallery view. Yeah, you yeah. just need to toggle to, uh, the talk to, uh, to, to speaker view. So you, you, you need to go to the left corner of the screen and the, it says view, just select the speaker view from there. The upper right corner, there's a view, right. there's a view, yeah, view button. And uh, click on that, there's drop down menu and select speaker. I'm just back. Okay. Um, anyway, go ahead and continue. I'll yeah, you, 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 I think you just, uh, you have to figure out how to uh, go to speaker view. And then um, if everything failed, you can go to YouTube to watch it on YouTube. It's a live yeah. streaming, yeah. And you can still talk here. Just open another win window to, to watch on YouTube. See, that's one thing I can't get out. Oh, can, you, you can... I'm just going to exit out and get back in. Um, if you could because exit, here. yeah, you have, to get, uh, you have to get admission. Someone is admit, will admit you. So you just leave, there's a leave button on the lower right hand corner. Yeah, see that's not showing up either. The I think you probably got the full screen view or something. Are you looking at the full screen? So yeah. you can exit the full screen. That's the one thing you need to do. You can, you, uh, on PC it's escape or something. Uh, maybe um, you're on full screen view to, to something, uh, I don't know. Full screen anyway, view. I'm gonna try to edit Yeah, actually, on full screen view, you can still see everything. It's on the bottom, on the bottom of everything. And there's exit screen. Um, yeah, sorry, I, I, I have to keep working. And maybe you can you can put in your question in the chat. Um, or maybe um, someone can call you if you give them number to, to help you if you want, okay? So we have to keep going. Yeah, continue with the class. I'm going to try to exit out somehow. Okay. Yeah, please. Let me just uh, mute it all. And, uh, okay. So um, the the next one I'm going to do is this horizontal, and uh, I'll just paint the horizontal ones here. I think I I got. I got the size bigger than I need. Let's just do a baby one. What about this? Because they do have different sizes, right? And this one. Okay. If I got fruits on the other side, it doesn't matter. <laughs> you know, going. Uh, on the back of that paper, I just make sure it's uh, there's no gap. There's no gap here. Okay, now we try this. Excuse me, Harry? 
Yeah. You add a more small one, it's more than eight. Or okay. Here, here's my um, come uh, my uh, uh, point. You don't have to count them now. You can do less or more, just fill in all okay. the space. But leave room for the leaves also. So I don't want to uh, lose all the space either it's for later for the leaves. But uh, you can reduce the number if, because I'm doing something too big because my paper here is a little bigger than the computer paper maybe. So I I'm, uh, I can do. A dark small one. I just want to fix some uneven uh, color here. Okay, let me just try it. Okay. Um, so this this uh, horizontal fault, this horizontal direction. Uh oh. See what happens because the the silicone is heat sensitive. <laughs> it activated with the heat. Uh, I I got trouble here. <laughs> That's unexpected. That's totally out of my expectation. So it it was on low heat that was okay, but when I when I turn on high heat, it just uh, sticking on it. Uh, that's a that's a that's a boo boo. <laughs> you you cannot do the you cannot use the uh, iron or um, yeah. It just press okay. Let's see. And uh, yeah, this is a this is a lesson a, a big lesson because once you activate the silicone, it's permanent. I cannot do it anymore. So just keep uh, uh I just show you the process. Suppose I can open that later somehow. There, I, I know there is some chemical that is not good for your health that you can um, you can remove the silicone. Another primitive way is like uh, put it in a boiling boiling pot to boil to hard, to actually destroy the silicone, um, um, like harden it or something. So you can you can separate them, but that will uh, depends on the the, the paper. Suppose the paper is good. Actually, this kind of paper can withstand boiling water pretty good. So that's the method the uh, professional gallery or uh, mounting shop use to remove silicone backing. They boil it. I probably cannot do it today to remove the silicone. So this is the last one, I think to get the, the small square and then finish the, the this. So we're supposed to have all, our eight uh, on this. Can I open this? Yeah, I, I think it's kind of hard to separate that. So that, that's the process. Okay, this is exercise one. And then uh, you can go, go back to, to uh, the original thing and then change color to do the leaves and I'll do the leaves uh, with the uh, oranges in the, in the next practice, uh, next practice which is uh, uh, just the parts of the tree I think okay. if you look at uh, my sketches here I try to uh, show you you know what color uh, to use when, before we do the the, uh, the whole tree so we can we can just use a uh, scrap paper, any paper, uh, to practice. Let's see what we have. Oh, this is square. So I have another piece of a uh, uh, silicone backed um, Chicago wing paper. So let let me just use this one and do a, a quick quick study of the cut. So when you arrange the, the fruit in, in still life style, I mean still, still life painting, uh, you, you need to worry about the distance, uh, the intervals between the fruits, right? Just, uh, usually we, we play with, the, with the, uh, three, but in the first example here, I got the 
uh, I got uh, one, two, like this, All right? One, two. Let me take the the uh, lemon off. <clears throat> so I got one, two, something like this, and then I have the piece of. Uh, Wish I can still eat it <laughs> later. It's very delicious. So there, there's no seed in it actually. Let me just use. Okay. okay. So you can see the texture of this very nice. Uh, has a kind of white um, vein. So I have the one something like that, and one. We can just put two, okay, on the bottom. I eat the, the other one. Excuse me. You got the idea. So this is the fruit, and then we add, uh, and we add the. Leaves. <laughs> okay, to um, to make it this uh, uh, easy to paint on, you can use uh, uh, a permanent uh, backing paper instead of the. Uh, the, the release paper that comes with the silicone. I have a um, backing paper here. It's a drawing paper. Um, I got from Amazon. It says uh, uh, easel drawing paper, craft paper. You know, like comes with a big roll, just under ten dollars. I think uh, for for uh, some are uh, very good. I, they mark it as a pH neutral archival. So crafts, crafts quality, uh, crafts paper, maybe a little better, you know, some maybe uh, made with uh, cotton, but this one is a recycled paper. I'm not sure if it's uh, neutral, but it doesn't matter for this demo purpose. So I just put it on this. You can use patchment, pa patchment paper, like backing, for backing, from, uh, uh, so this. Uh, Advantage, advantage of this kind of paper is the thing you can see still see through it if I put it on a piece of uh, uh, more, more multimedia or uh, mixed media paper it will block the transparency right so that's why the reason I use thin paper that's strong enough and then uh, I, I uh, put this on t on the uh, <laughs> on this paper, this paper is relatively strong to hold it from curing, so I don't have to use the paper weights, and I can uh, move around. And this is the the backing paper that comes with the silicone. I, I cover it uh, on top. This is anti-sticking paper, and the uh, dust dust, uh, dust protecting from the the iron. It's good. Uh, I should put a little soft padding. And uh, it, you know, some cost, but uh, it's okay. We just need uh, some heat, some heat. The temperature will activate, just like uh, you know. Uh, the earlier I used the the, uh, the hair dryer that that activated the silicone, I cannot uh, take it off. Uh, now I do it first, so you will not have any mistake. Then I can dry it. I, I can I can uh, heat heat dry it or, or, or you know uh, blow it. it will not uh, create any. You can still fold it. I think you know bend it. It's, it's still workable. The you can use the the good mounting paper for backing, but. Uh, you can use that even you know later mount another if you need to frame it. You can you can use heavy paper, heavier paper. You can see the see through. That's very good if you need, if you if you want to have the design or something like that. But we are, we're not going to do this design. We do a organic uh, just like a painting. 
now. Like I said, we have two fruits plus two, um, two, four, 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 four fruits plus two uh, little ones, okay, baby ones in, inside, from inside. What do you call this? Small pieces. Okay. So for the for this one, like um, I try to match the color, the actual color here. It's a yellow or a red. Can you see my color? How it, I think you, it's easy to understand. But I just do a big circle. Life size, life size is a, is always good. And you can use the, the dry brush itself as a sponge. Don't have to use a second brush, you know, just keep circling, pick up the 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 puddle. Because some some paper some part is uneven, that creates some grain, which is you know it's it's like the, the skin of the the fruit. It doesn't matter. The grain Henry, Yes. There's a question. When you took out the silicon backing paper, can that paper be reused yeah, yeah. to be the backing another? No, no, paper? no. It's anti-sticking. It's it's not permanent. Uh, it's like a um, vaxi paper. Or, you know, it's it's not sticking. It's not gonna stick on the silicone. Right. It's a Someone is paper. going to use that paper for ironing. Something oh, you can else. use it for ironing. Yeah, just to to put. That's the best for yes. That's that's to protecting piece. That's mm -hmm. where, where I got. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Right. Exactly. That that's what exactly I use. And also, um, um, you can use yeah, just to protecting the. You can use two. Maybe you know if you turn it over, uh, you can put uh, one under it. Yeah. So right. the, the the second one could be a little overlapping to create a dense uh, energy. But Henry, it, another question is yeah. that did you just use the orange color out of the paint tube, or you mixed the orange? I mixed it. I mixed the the yellow, warm yellow, cardian yellow kind of. It's not called cardian yellow in, in this brand, uh, and the cardian orange or pearl per orange. That's what they name it. Um, so I got uh, a little reddish than yellow. It's not. Uh, you can see it's like this. This yeah, this one. I I prefer more towards the red. Maybe. Well, I can do it. Uh, yeah, but may maybe a little yellow. I I'm. Is that too red? It's pr pretty similar to the. It's not like uh, this lemon yellow. Right? This is a. Uh, this is orange, like a typical. Um, what is it called? Level orange, and this is warmer. The tangerines or the uh, mandar mandarins. Yeah, what's the difference? Oh, I don't know. Okay, the second one is either in the front or behind. Maybe practically we can we can do it with uh, without touching. So maybe a little bit behind. Oh, this is too red, but I want to have a shadow, maybe. So this painting is not patterned, so I can create a little bit of shadow, maybe a little bit. Something more 3D kind of. You can leave a, a very thin water line, we call it a water line, white line between two colors but since this is the same color you it doesn't matter if it bleed you know and you can if you lose that you just cover it with a, a thicker paints so it's not going to bleed on, on the still damp fruit so I just cover it I try different okay this one usually the dark in, in Chinese painting is in the front like a bamboo, you know, the dark bamboo is in the front, the light bamboo is uh, behind. So that's okay. Even, you know, with some transparency that you can see through, um, as if it's translucent, it's okay. This is painting, you know, it doesn't matter. Okay. 
so that's one two and then i can do the insight that's basically yellow very juicy yellow so what we got we can we can use a little bit lemon to add to this to make it uh, tender lemon yellow it's a good idea that like you you always use a piece of the any paper to test it to match the color of the I think maybe not so yellow it should be still same thing but just a thing it's almost like this right this uh, this food inside okay so it's something like that and I'll just do uh, the fruit there on this corner it's like a crescent or croissant shape there's a uh, there's a little tiny I think uh, it's uh, it's not a uh, how to say th this this bottom is much bigger the top is just a, a white line I think but you can maybe squeeze in a little bit of line to, su to put it you know suggest the whiteness something like that on top and then that's it and you can use a clean brush <coughs> to uh, take the extra off so spread it Okay. Yeah, I'm looking at the, the real fruits there. So you can start with, with a little light uh, darker and make it lighter by blotting it with another so, um, stamping, I mean, with a, uh, another clean brush. I, I will, I will do another one with bottom up so you can see the, the uh, texture, the veins like that. Right? Uh, okay, the direction, something like that. Okay, so this is uh, it's, uh, it's on this side, right? On this side, I do that. Don't have to do the the table always. Okay, let's just like like that. The bottom, not as bottom up. There's some white. Uh, yeah, you, you can save them, but uh, I'll just use white gouache. How's that? So I just put uh, a little. Maybe just the thicker pants, you know. Maybe you can add a little more red, and uh, I just blend another one, just darker underneath. Another dimension there. You can leave a little white line. It's 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 a uh, it could be the we call it technically we call it the water line. You know, you want to avoid um, two colors. Uh, actually, you could have a little bit, you know, touch the other side. That's okay. If if you lose it, something like that. Okay. And uh, the shape is yeah, just uh, something like that. It could be a big. Uh, I'm trying to do two. Anyway. That's it. <clears throat> so that's all the for the oranges. And now I'm going to add blue to this color that I, I got to make it uh, into um, the leaf color. Then you can use uh, you can use the yellows. I think yellow is pretty strong, so it will make it pretty dark. I don't have a, I do have the the plant, but I forgot to. Grab some uh, leaves. Uh, the leaves is is pretty pointed, like it has you know have a very pointed, and it's lemon is more rounded and curly. This one is pretty uh, waxy, very shiny. Yep, kind of. As I mentioned yesterday, if you took my class, any color uh, you you need to think about you know how much red how much blue and how much yellow in it so the green for the green the mainly the uh, yellow and the blues 
and plus a little bit uh, brown or red. Okay, this is olive almost like you can use uh, two colors uh, like uh, viridian. Uh, let me see. Oh, no, actually, hooker. What's that? Uh, a sap. Sap and hooker. Hooker is a lot darker, right? Th those those colors will work. But I just take advantage of what whatever uh, mix them. You can mix most of the colors from the red, blue, and the yellows, right? So we don't have to worry about the two sides um, in this exercise. I just do it like the freestyle painting. Okay. Oops, let me turn off this iron here. Oh, I I think it's good idea to try it probably. So then I can just overlap it. I need some opacity here. I, I just add some turquoise maybe to make it more covering. Yeah, you can use, uh, if you have Maris, Maris can you add those mineral green or mineral blue, it's much easier to cover it. Right. Just do a flat, flat uh, wash, and then we can uh, add veins if you need it. Um, you can do the stem if you. Maybe a good idea to to, to draw the stem first, so the leaves are not uh, floating in the air. Just like that, and uh, I think that's it. Let's keep it simple. And this leaf could be behind, so to create depth, you need to make sure which is in front, which is uh, in the back, which is back, which is in the front, and leave leave the waterline. <coughs> Make sure you don't. If you if you miss that, you, you just put a leaf in the front of the fruits to, to save it. Okay, and then do another one. You can draw the contour and then fill in fill in the, the color evenly. If there's puddle, take it out with the second brush. Okay, and then uh, we can do another one to finish here. You, you can draw little by little, but I prefer to do it more uh, with the whole brush, not just the tip of the brush for, for those kind of large shapes, just like a bamboo uh, painting. But you can repeat in Gombi, you don't have to, because this paper is very forgiving, it's not smearing, not uh, uh, bleed, not bleed, bleed, so you can, uh, repeat but don't keep working uh, you can use add multiple layers if you like yeah. okay and uh, let me try it and then we'll add veins Actually, the stem, stem could be a little bit thicker. Uh, maybe I just add a little shade of uh, outline, you know, something. It's a little bit texture, some. It's 
some wrinkles in Okay, I just outline it, but not not use uh, any any ink. It could be a darker brown. Um, if you want light in it, you can use uh, white. Okay. I try to keep it clean. It's supposed to be a decorative style. You don't want to show some uh, too much white, uh, flying white, or you know this kind of. Uh, and I I dot the end of the the fruit like a, just the one. Maybe you can also do the one like here, maybe something like that. And uh, some some uh, artists like to do the the leaves. Shimmers will typically create some kind of uh, very uh, strong three uh, D effect. So the, the, you 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 use a graded wash to to do that. Make it you know some parts more shady, but you have to wait it dry. That's. Uh, Let's use a little bit of gouache to add the, the uh, some white veins first to the to the inside piece there. Okay, so I just use a little white ink. You can use uh, titanium white. Okay, I'll just draw these lines. With a liner, this is a happy dot. You can use a like a seven wolf or the red hair or red red bean. You know some some liner. It has a sharp tip, sharp uh, tip to draw this that lines. But this one also have a little bit more uh, of various sh shapes, not just lines. Some some areas are pretty heavy lines. Okay, so we just create some texture, some maybe some highlights, some 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 texture, yeah. You can also use a deeper color to add some uh, Texture to that, some depth, some richness, whatever. And uh, that's it, I think. Okay, for the center, you can uh, you can use a little bit darker, maybe hookers green if you use single color, or add just add a little bit blue. Uh, ultramarine cobalt or something just make it darker and uh, you can add a, a shadow in the middle and you know just like veins I think uh, we don't need to do the secondary veins just the one in the middle to keep it e easier but you do it to like a, um, in Western painting. They you can you can include that with the gradation, so it look like a a, a a not just a line, you know, the surface maybe more a shadow kind of indicate the 
ingen allier. Dark against the light, light against dark. That kind of thing. Oops. This this brush uh, need to be thirsty. The second brush definitely not too much water, but not too little water it won't work. It, it would not uh, uh, just enough to spread the pants and you know keep it. Uh, Smooth, but not to create a dry brush. The the color the charger, the color brush should be full of uh, pens, so you would not take off the uh, add to create a puddle kind of a supply of color, and then you use the sponge brush to, to soften the edge, to pull it to the light part, to the edge. brush technique is called a separate wash in Gombi. One uh, color brush, usually uh, a um, sharp, it could be a you know, uh, hard bristle brush, um, but to, to deliver color. And then the mixed hair brush or a soft brush to Spread it. Okay. Oh, I missed the the email. Print. Let me see. Just you can you can use the sponge too. And if you mess it up, you can take you can sponge it. Okay. So that that's just a, a quick. Exercise on, on this uh, still life style. Okay, but we, uh, we we didn't do the background. I think we don't have time to do the background. It could be uh, um, it could be done er earlier. Uh, if you have the silk, we have uh, have colored the silk with uh, metallic gold. That would be good. Um, so there are more options for you to. Uh, you, you can uh, do more than one if you have time later at home. And uh, what time is it now? We have like a half an hour? More than half an hour, right? Okay, a little bit uh, more than half an hour. We're going to do this third exercise. Okay. <clears throat> so the challenge is always how to transfer the design. Suppose I already provided the design uh, to you to uh, onto the final surface so you don't have to draw this. Otherwise, you have to spend a lot of time to copy the, the outline. So here I have some suggestions. You can use uh, tracing paper. If you're using watercolor, uh, hot press watercolor or other uh, surface. And you can use uh, um, this copy itself, just put it underneath the rice paper. That's what I will do. I already have it uh, like this. I'll show, I'll show you the process. Look, okay, this this uh, uh, set is like a sandwich. I uh, put together a a hard copy of this, uh, a black and white copy of this uh, drawing I did uh, on the. Um, Drawing paper that I mentioned, like the easel drawing paper, a crafts paper that comes in a big roll. Uh, you can use uh, parchment paper, any paper that uh, serves as a temporary, temporary backing. Here it's very important. This is not permanent because I put, I put this paper. Uh, let me do it so you understand. To get this done, here here is a a. a, a, a Patchment paper. I uh, I got the drawing paper. 
um, and this is the, the computer printout, right? I put down this. Uh, then my painting paper is uh, the Chikada wing paper. Let me see. But the Chikada wing paper is mounted, mounted on, on uh, already, I already mounted, I, I spent like one hour prepared for the, all the materials uh, to save time in the class. So I can do it uh, within half an hour. <laughs> Otherwise, you will have just one, you know, one exercise, one demo for the two hours. Gombi it usually takes days, if not weeks, you know, to do the life size. Uh, usually, this wallpaper kind of uh, uh, painting is uh, uh, not, you know, non with non-repeating patterns, life size, life size. Henry. Oh, yeah. Uh, someone requesting you to show the last painting on screen again. I guess they want to take a picture. The last the one you just oh. finished. Okay. Is it focused? Pretty good. Focus. Focused. All right. Okay. Okay. You no. Know? Okay. Nice. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. All right. So let let me continue this uh, this uh, uh, preparation process. And uh, if you um, probably you, you don't have all the materials handy, but look just uh, look carefully, try to understand the what I'm doing. Okay. Um, oh gosh. Uh, I think I'm wrong. something. Uh, I just realized something. Something I may be mistaken. I I shouldn't. I shouldn't peel peel off the release paper. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't have the release paper. If I do this, it will be permanently attached to the painting. So do I have this. Okay, let me let me try to get this straight. Again. Okay, I'll, I'll use another piece. And, and see. Why don't you do it on the sized uh, oh. paper without the backing? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Here, here, here's the thing. I I just use tape. I don't have to use heat, but uh, if I use uh, if I if I uh, heat dry it, it, it might be a problem. As long as I keep it cool, it should should be okay. So uh, this this paper I already mounted, which is good. So that way uh, you you don't have to worry about staying staying the the template. So you can reuse the template. And actually, it's good to have that because if you if you have it, um, but this paper is not going to penetrate, right? Anyway, just uh, um, just put a, a piece of. Uh, uh, size the paper on the t on top of computer paper is fine. Without the silicone, it's fine. We, we just tape it. We just use uh, we can you, we can just use you know we don't have to tape it. Just like uh, you can hold it like this. You can use uh, I think we have tape here. You can use uh, uh, artist tape. But the tape may hurt may hurt the paper. Uh, it cannot easily remove. To, to to make sure that you can take you can put tape on your cloth on your on felt on, on, on your skin maybe just to remove some tackiness and then uh, use it so it, it's easier to remove okay just you just tape the corners you can use max masking tape if you don't have artist tape I just put a masking tape like a, on my sleeve before I put on the on the paper. I just drop the corners. I just need a few points to fix the position to position it. It doesn't matter if there's a, a looseness as long as I can, you know. I just use paperweight. Use paperweight. All right. So this is a, a template. Um, 
you can enlarge it if you do a a, a, a wallpaper size, uh, you know, for for a frame or whatever. But this for this class, we just uh, use this. I can zoom in a little bit so you can see better. Is that better? Okay. So, but uh, then you cannot really see my palette. It's not a complicated uh, palette, but uh, uh, I'll, I'll I'll show you if I need. So this this um, porcelain is like uh, like this, right? It has a um, landscape, right? So just put it in here. You can see. So that's for my color reference. Uh, you can create anything you like. You know, just uh, we don't uh, we don't need to outline all. Uh, we just need to. Um, let me see. For this part, maybe use a very light color to uh, to do some shading first. So it's not completely white. Uh, although you can use white to start with, it's especially uh, on colored silk. If you want to create a, a white porcelain, you you must you must do the use white to create the the white. Right. But this paper is already white. Uh, we just need to. Um, Henry, what paper are you using, right? Yeah, now? it's the Cicada Wing paper. The Cicada Wing paper. paper. Yeah, I, I, the I, very translucent paper. Yeah, I, I Would already put just a... just use more berry paper also? Uh, that's Any kind of translucent paper should no, be no, fine, no. and non-absorbent paper should be fine, right? Non-absorbent paper, uh, the, this, the uh, more berry paper is not just sized. Is right. absorbent, okay. yeah. It's not. That's the problem. So we cannot use mobile paper. Uh, however, that's your painting. You know, you are artist. You 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 could paint um, on raw paper. I have I have I have a teacher in China. You know, I I you probably have seen Professor Ross painting. He she that did everything on raw paper uh, with well controlled. Um, like a, she would use. A, a tissue to, to control the bleeding so you can still paint Gombe style painting even uh, on the absorbent paper to control the bleed you need to be very uh, skillful to know okay so I, I just do a little bit uh, kind of a light wash to suppose the light I don't know where the direction coming but I just want to I have a little bit hint of blue because I, I see the color uh, so here, you know, some color I have more they're not white snow white so I just kind of color, color the whole thing a little bit okay but uh, it's easy to get it too far so you get a blue not a white uh, porcelain, a uh, china. Wow. Okay. I'll just keep it as thin as, thin as possible. Okay. The inside of the part is earth, so we just oh, use. Sorry, uh, Henry. We can see the part. It's too right. low. Okay. Can you put a little bit up? Yeah. Can you see it now? Yeah. Um, a little bit up, please. Oh, better. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, yeah. I think we can put some moss in, in, on top of the soil. That's that will be nice. So we just do the the trunk. Um, someone like you know to do for any tree you start from the trunk, right? Uh, you can also uh, do the fruits. Doesn't matter because we have the template. Wh whichever uh, come to your mind first, you can do that. So let's just do the trunk with the 
a kind of gray blue or uh, I think the it's too childish to do the trunk in brown, right? So we try to make it really nice, I think. Maybe I just try to mix some dirty color here. Maybe a bluish brown, I don't know. Just the more natural kind of color. Let me just see if I can get something to my... But you don't want it to dark, so let's see. You can mix your brown, so you can control how much yellow, how much red in it. Or you can just use the ochre, this burnt sienna, plus some uh, blue. Let's see. I think we need the blue in this painting for the in, to to echo the the uh, bottom. So we, we just put a, a little gray blue to start with, bluish bluish brown. I try to let me test 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 test. I'll just use the okay. Where is my I don't have a piece of paper? Or I just use this whatever. This is a little bit this is probably good for the leaf. So maybe we just stay with the the conceptual color for for any tree. Use a little bit of gouache to get a lighter color. Instead of using a lot of water, you lose the substance. You know, I just use a gouache to keep the value. Okay, now I got. It. I think sometimes we must use a opaque color. I think. I'll just do a flat wash, means no no gradation, no gradation. Just uh, and you can do it uh, with little little by little, you know, to fill in the blank. Just uh, um, I'll just use my my trained hand skill. You, you can do it in one stroke, or you can do it with a little tiny brush, filling all the blanks little by little, like that. Okay, the bottom of the, the tree is merged uh, in the, in the uh, moss. So we'll just add a little bit, and you can draw this edges with the this with one brush and then you can use a clean brush to soften it I just have some accent on the corner or some so there's some lost and found uh, Lost and found edges. I don't want to do it too flat or too fuzzy with the details because that's not an important part of the painting. You don't want to do the little mass dots, you know, one by one. Just a, a color statement of uh, the mass, not mass dots. Where? Somewhere at the door. Okay, good. <clears throat> and uh, well, let me just finish the top with a little more. You can add a little more brown to it, maybe. 
the thinner ones, I want to keep the bone. Coming! Someone running the doorbell. Keep running. Okay, you need to be very careful um, to leave leave gaps for the fruits. Otherwise, um, you do the fruits first. Alternatively, you do the fruits first, so you don't uh, miss them. Okay, because we have the template. Uh, you can do it uh, whatever way you feel convenient. Any questions there? Okay. If you if you cannot see the template, you better have another copy or just look at the computer. Uh, for I, I think I should bring out the uh, reference here. I, I didn't. Hey, there's a question. Yeah. Do you prefer to outline the painting in pencil or in light ink? No light ink, please. It's not going to be no ink at all, in fact. What if you, you outline it with the very light color of what you are going okay, to the, paint? Uh, the line uh, comes the last in Shinwazuri painting, just the opposite of a Gombi style. Don't, don't, okay. don't do any outline, just the, the lightest color first, and then medium color, dark color. The color uh, you consider as outline, maybe it's a shadow, uh, or yeah, it could be contour line, but it comes last without ink. Absolutely no ink, otherwise you call it a Gombi painting. So it's okay, because the Gombi painting is the ancestor of uh, Shinwazuri painting, right? Thank you. Yeah, so uh, you, uh, stay away from ink, uh, don't outline. I, I, I call it more uh, towards Gombi, uh, a kind of Gombi called uh, uh, bonus or more gu style. More means uh, less or none. Uh, so more gu style is the is a sister art of this Shinwazuri painting. More uh, closer to watercolor or Shinwazuri. In watercolor, uh, you completely avoid lines, right? The outline. But in, in Shinwazuri, they do have lines. To do, to do the veins, the last, the, the outlines, the last. Okay, so we're working on the uh, on this painting right now. Okay, let me enlarge a little bit the details. I want to see what I was doing there. Oh, I tried to include some flowers on top. Okay, and then um, you don't have to. I tried to do some detail. Okay, here's another branch. I think this goes up. That's and uh, okay. This branch actually is the 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 root of this. The stem of this hanging branch uh, is the the fruit hanging there, and this one is another. Uh, branch with a little flower, I think. So, but this two parallel, and we, we need to break that somehow. So we just make uh, the angle a little bit different. Okay, there. Okay, the the hanging branch. We need to consider the rule of gravity, and uh, so you go up somehow. So it will not like a drop, dead drop. It's a good. A little bit uh, up and then down, so it's not breaking. And you don't have to follow exactly the the, the template behind, but it, it helps to have. It must have it in either Gongbi or Mogu uh, and the uh, Shinwazuri too to have the outlined. Templates behind. Okay, that's very, very 
Could you show more of the whole painting? You will cover on the left hand side. Oh, Could you okay. move your hand and the paper to the right hand side more? Thank you. Okay, let me see. Okay. What you're painting, the left hand side got covered. Okay, let me just uh, eat this. Mm -hmm. No? Right, perfect, thanks. Okay. Now this is a dry, okay? I'm going to do the landscape. Let's use uh, this uh, seven wolf. Seven wolf, three sheep. It's a, just uh, a traditional name for this kind of step, two step brush. It has a, a short uh, uh, hair on the outside and a, a, a sharp point um, in, the, in the front. Okay, I use just pure. Um, pure color of uh, ultramarine so i'm going to do the the landscape can you see that okay the pavilion in shinwazari they have this uh, conceptualized um, pavilion or, or uh, pagoda in the painting it's pretty it's, uh, much look at the the image behind me uh in my uh upper upper um, left you can see the the, sh the uh, exaggerated uh, corner uh, leave right of this uh, shinwazuri <laughs> shinwazuri design uh, 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 of uh, uh, china theater in la but that's that's the imaginary or you know stylized stylized um, Chinese in the Chinese building in the West eyes design in Western artist mind. So you can have some trail there, maybe. Okay, I I think we 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 need to have some uh, something like uh, the Chinese scholars rock or the garden garden rock kind of thing. Uh, you can have some vegetation. This doesn't matter really. It's just uh, something, something there. So that's uh, a pavilion. Very simple. And uh, uh, this is a bridge. Look at this. Uh, it has a, a, a pavilion there. Some trees. Yeah, just something. Uh, yeah, some birds in the sky. I, I'll I'll just do the. I don't I don't think I will do the birds, but it's uh, if you have room for that. I got some figure in it, or you know some something on the bridge. It's it's okay. Some steps. You don't do too much detail actually. So we just. Uh, Um, I'll outline it with the same color of this uh, blue, darker blue, darker blue. You don't use ink, okay? Otherwise, you will call it differently. Not shinwasuri, but uh, gombi or other. Okay. Um, we don't really do the shading that much. We'll just uh, impression of this kind of you know, landscape. It could have some willow tree there, something like that. Some vegetation, you know, just like this, this little ways. And you know, yeah, instead of distant mountain, you can do the, the birds or something. And I do have a. Uh, this this mountain is on the on the neck. We don't have that. We just do a little little thing like a remote mountain and uh, a scholar or some poet wa wa walking with a stick. <laughs> you know, that's about too far. But uh, if you have that mind, you just you can just do it in, in very tiny 
it's you know, dots, something it's an indicator figure or something. And then the the boat it has a, a sailing sail bo boat there, right? So we, we just do a triangular shape with a uh, a dash. That's my my boat, and you can put a little bit uh, stick on top. Of this. It's just a sailing sail uh, mask. Okay, then um, let's do the fruits. We I can wait to finish before the class and So um, yeah, just do it with uh, my my uh, happy dots. I think I just use uh, orange color. Just mix them. Uh, I'm not going to do many shades. But you can you can have uh, if you have a larger painting you can see how uh, this complicates you know it could have a lot of colors green oranges all that in in, in the uh, in the fruits and even some dots and things like that but we we have a small painting here we just do a circle. Just a little sun, they call it a little sun, the yang symbol of uh, uh, in, in Chinese culture. This is the symbol of uh, yang, positive uh, element in the universe. If you eat too much, you got a fire, right? <laughs> too much yang. This is the sweetness, maybe. Yeah, it got varied because I loaded the color with some yellow and some red. So it, it it just have different uh, color. So you can you can um, forget about the the uh, the flower. I just do the do all the um, the fruits I just covered that and I was planning to do the flower here so I just turned it into a green fruit maybe a green one and you can vary the color you can put a little green on the edge of the sun some just to very a little bit. That's it. I think keep it rounded. Yeah, it it's a uh, patient game. You need to be very very uh, patient. <laughs> okay, and then uh, uh, let's do the leaves with uh, some. With maybe two colors, one light, one dark, but you can randomly patternize it. You know, I know where it should be darker or where to to be lighter. So we just go with the feel. You, you can you can do it in one stroke or fill in the blanks. You know, with a little brush. Just make sure the shape is consistent. It's like a pattern. I don't want to do too many overlaps to keep it uh, decorative. Just uh, I just use the one color and then maybe accent some with the, just the, in the center, maybe. just with, like we did earlier. To save time, you could use you know, different greens, indicate different stage of growing or something like that. Okay, let me turn to the top portion of this. Uh, I draw this from uh, maybe it's some real picture. I, think, I forgot. Simplified from real bonsai or potted tree. 
picture so you can Henry, yeah. somebody is wondering if the pencil marks will show up on the paper afterwards even Person. after you paint um, the watercolor over it I don't have any pencil marks. It's under it. It's not a pencil. Remember, I just put the computer print. I just used the computer print under the transparent rice paper, the Chicada wing paper. That's uh, I. I don't have any mark. That's the best. Right. Part. When they paint on their own. Uh, on their maybe. own. Right. Um. Yeah. Just use light, light pencil, light pencil. I. I would. I would. Um, and then don't do like a draft. Try to keep it like as if you outlined in Gombe in a liner. Just do the pencil lines uh, very as neat as possible. Uh, without uh, it could be um, you know with shaky hand or something like that. But uh, uh, you know Charles Reed. I always think his painting, his lines is as beautiful as Gombe. Line. So he will keep his pencil line. Charles Reed is the most famous um, American uh, watercolorist. He passed away about like two years ago. Um, so he his pencil line is very certain, very uh, you know sure marks on the pen, and uh, it's part of the beauty of uh, watercolor. I think if you do that, you know, without that, that he when he does uh, his drawing, he won't uh, use eraser or he will draw another line if you, he make mistake. But uh, uh, it's very uh, artistic, I think, to have to be. It depends on the pencil mark quality itself. If it's a good drawing, you can leave it as part of the. The painting in watercolor, you don't have to hide it. In my opinion, you know, I think pencil line. Some some uh, client uh, uh, may 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 be bothered by it, but don't don't yeah. That means they are not art really uh, knowledgeable art collectors. So watercolor painting is supposed to have pencil marks in it. Um, and in Gombe or Xunwazuri, the pencil mark is served as like a, uh, it should be pretty neat, you know, uh, not uh, drafty. So it become part of the the painting itself. So it, yeah, it, it could be considered as the same uh, function as an uh, incline in traditional in traditional uh, Gombe painting. I think. So in my opinion, you need not to worry about that. You don't have to uh, really emphasize on that or, or um, be, try to you know, hide it or erase it. Just leave it. Um, two hours. Oh, we already passed time? We have one minute? I think it's 2 30. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, 4 30 now. My Two hours after we started the class. My, my time is at 1.29 on computer. We started the class, your time, 11.30, right? So two hours later, it's 1.30. Yeah, one thirty. so we are on time right now, right? Okay. Right. Yeah, uh, let me let me give me uh, just five minutes because we have some delay in the, in the beginning, like a 10 minutes delay. I'll make okay. it up, yeah. I'll make it up. Sorry about that. Um, let me just uh, finish by... Uh, the outline that we talked about. So we just use a little darker, darker. Uh, it's not outline. I'll do something like uh, the cracks or the the wrinkles, uh, the the bark on the on the tree, to indicate maybe a hole there or something. Um, and you can still use your two two brush technique just to soften some edge if you still like to to do that. But uh, basically, I want to uh, give a little more bone to it, although it's a, it's a boneless style, or uh, ink uh, without ink outline. But we want to show some uh, structure. Yeah, some, but you don't need to complete completely 
outline it. Maybe you know we we'll just consider that as a shading. I think you see, I I just create a, a back and a front relationship there within. So I, I expand that line, just make it like a shade. So this part is in the front, and I can make this part a little shady. You know, use your your your, your uh, Western mind to consider the, the, the this stuff as a dark uh, for the shade shading texture things like that. It could be you, you can use a, a ready made like a. Uh, Serbia with a little green to make it dark, but not too dark because we want to keep it decorative, very soft, kind of peaceful, calm. For in the, in, so you can look at it every day in your everyday life, not just you know like a background, not to really. Uh, a uh, dramatic. I really don't like those uh, uh, flowers. Uh, modern uh, design, you know, they they just uh, be abuse uh, colors. They too much, too much. Uh, we call it vulgar colors. You know, red, pink, just pure colors. Uh, you don't have to use those strong colors to get, uh, you know, the. Uh, the message passed you know, you know, to to attract people's eyes. We got we you know you you may attract some attention, but if you won't last for lasting uh, colors. You need to mute it. <laughs> yeah, this the learn a lot from this is Victorian Victorian uh, color. I like you know I include that the I have if you search. Um, Origin, uh, or, uh, orange tree in the pot, you can find many, many, many contemporary uh, painters do that. But uh, I still like this antique style. Maybe not a true antique, new antique, they call it. It's the Victorian style. It's kind of gray, like that. So I just put a darker green in the middle. That's it. Okay, I'm going to finish very quickly. Oops, that's my clean brush. Okay, okay that's uh, let me finish all the, the veins. I just put it in the middle. Where's it? In the middle of this leaf. In, because it's so small, I don't need to create the, uh, the shadow effect, the shady, the dark and the light, uh, in yang kind of thing. Just uh, uh, do I need the little dots on the tools? Probably not. Uh, so this this uh, painting looks pale, right? Because it's it's not completely mounted. You, if you now I can leave. Uh, I can take it off from the the uh, template. Okay. Oops. Even though I removed it, the uh, stickiness, it's still kind of hard to. Okay, now I got it. Just want to make sure this doesn't tear. Okay. So this this is the the painting um, I mounted, and then uh, you can put. It, don't use the release paper. It's not good uh, to stick. Use a uh, permanent support like. Uh, Multimedia paper. I, I I already have another sheet of the silicone on it. Double silicone is okay, but uh, uh, I I could have the, just a blank uh, piece of uh, paper. If if the size is correct, you can use uh, just computer paper, you know, to mount it down. So I I put on this and activate activate the adhesive again. To finish the, I want to show the color intensity after mounting. 
even you know just the one step away if it's a mounted or unmounted uh, if you put on the right uh, white paper it's better with you know without it but uh, uh, the best is to just permanently mount it on, on the white paper when they stack together it would show the color vibrancy the best you don't need the water because it's already been mounted when I mount the, the uh, clean paper the, to begin with I didn't put any water either I just put on the silicone so now it's finished okay can you see whole picture let me take it off the handout or we can small make it smaller okay now you can see from template to uh, color version I got a little bit Lots of, uh, can you see it? Like little beans. Uh, I have another template. I don't have time. Uh, you can do your homework. Uh, it's uh, uh, orange tree in a in a ginger jar, which is a name for from the original usage of that jar. But you can use it uh, nowadays for everything, including a planter. And then uh, you can draw this same tree on the design and put some birds and flowers around it. It's very um, interesting idea. Now th this is the exercise we did earlier. So this is the uh, complete painting. You can enlarge it if you like. Any Henry, yeah. Um, when you did the second mounting, did you do it on top of the painting? In other words, did you put the, uh, you have the painting faced up, then the silicone on the bottom of the mounting paper, and then you ironed on top. Is that what you did, or did you reverse it? Mm. Um, I didn't get the I'm question. I'm a little confused. Okay, um, let, let, me, let me just... Instead of answering your question, I just uh, uh, show you the the um, the uh, sandwich again. Maybe some, yeah, that, that would help. That would help. Okay. So uh, the, the the painting always uh, um, fa facing up. You cannot uh, if you put it down, it will be disastrous, right? So the the backing paper is is this. It, it just. Uh, uh, the silicone was uh, on the original painting and then I have silicone on the backing paper as well so we have double silicone just accidentally but you don't have to um, if you it, we, are two, we have two methods one is method A which is uh, mount, mount the, the painting mount the, the, uh, uh, the painting paper itself with silicone and then you transfer it uh, Onto a permanent support by iron again, okay. Um, I could have done that without uh, this the uh, method B, which method B is to put the silicone on the backing paper first, and then release the the, the release paper come with the silicone, uh, and then you put the painting. <clears throat> don't have to be mounted, okay, and uh, finish the painting on top of the. <coughs> Okay, this is like, uh, yeah. <coughs> Gives me, yeah. Th this is a this is a silicone uh, paper on top of a uh, on top of a uh, 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 backing paper. So yeah, that that's the method. If I release it and put a um, rice paper painting on top of that, you might. It's basically a mounting uh, question. It's a uh, I, I, yeah, I didn't do it differently from the standard way, I think. I don't know why you got confused, but uh, uh, the, the 
the paper on top is the release paper. It doesn't have anything on it. It just okay. protect me. Okay. Yeah. It doesn't really help. I, I think the <coughs> I was trying to do the things uh, differently. I think uh, you might mount the silicone using the extra space somehow uh, you, you know with the backing paper on kind of uh, uh, release partially maybe an edge of it and then you kind of fix the the template on the, on the bottom and then when you, when you finish you cut off the the extra edge but it's, it seems too complicated i think yeah. I, I didn't think it uh, carefully but it's it's maybe too complicated to uh as a stretching paper, you know, as a stretching major, major you can, you can uh, just leave it. I think, um, it, yeah, something. Just the idea. I I haven't developed a system that works yet. Uh, but if I if I find something more um, that solves the problem, you know, of uh, tracing without tracing, <laughs> it would be good. Because I, I was thinking you use the template multiple times, you know, with the uh, uh, silicone paper in between, so it's not going to stand the the, the, the and just put it behind behind the uh, under the the painting paper. So you have some extra like this, you know, you you you, you can you can hold them together. So it's a it's a little bit um, tricky if you. Do it all with silicone without a tape or something. It's probably easy to just go with tape or other. Traditionally, they just use uh, uh, paste to you know, just water, put the template on on the drawing board, and then put the um, rice paper on top of that uh, wet rice paper, and then uh, fix it with the paste. I have a yeah. I have a tape that's. Uh, Water activated that can be used. I, I showed you guys in the, in the other class I used to stretch paper. You can use the water uh, water activated tape to, to stretch. So you have to wait it dry. That's the disadvantage of that. So right. You, I think you use that on a wooden board or something. Yeah, you, you put it on a wooden board. Just your template on the wood wooden board, and you put the silicone. I mean, not silicone paper, no silicone. Traditional way, okay. You put a rice paper. Um, let me see, like this rice paper, right? Rice right. paper, uh, wet, wet it, so it's it's smooth and then nice. And you fix the edge with the water activated tape, or you can just use. If it's, if it's not too too wet, I, I'm not sure if this tape will work. I, I guess it probably not. Uh, maybe you can you can fix one edge and wet it and fix another or something. You can, you, you use uh, just like a uh, watercolor paper stretching process similar to that, but you keep the template under it like this, so you don't need to trace it. No need to erase the temp pencil marks. Understand? You can put right. it, yeah, right. that, that, that's the traditional way. And I did it uh, today without uh, tracing either. So there's no pencil on the mark. I just uh, put it, I mean, put the rice paper on top with a little tape or a little paper weight to fix it. That's, that works for me. That was good. It was beautiful painting. Thank you. That <laughs> looks very nice, very Thank nice. You. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, a lot of, uh, um, Experiment, yeah. I think this this green is too dark. I put some yellow in it. You can use just a pure um, cadmium yellow to cover it, or or lemon, you know, just because it's a tender leaf. Okay, let me just do that. And you can change the color. It, yeah, just use opaque or some opaque to change the color. I think. And you can gradate it to some kind of water, something like that. Anyway, sometimes it makes worse. <coughs> and uh, maybe blocking? No, just just leave it. 
it's a little bit maybe I just put it another orange so that that's the lesson here you don't want to really vary too much because the decorate decorate painting is different from the realistic the, uh, the color the pattern should be very simple simplified you know if you want to give too much information it lose the, the sense of pattern it, it, it become representational painting right so just keep it uh, consistent I think so we just yeah, just keep it uh, in the same family not too much variation that's probably it. that looks better yeah definitely I don't want to jump jump too much to to grab too much attention that become a focal point that's not what I want I want to keep it muted it was a flower I tried to do everything that's too ambitious I think okay that's all I probably need to sign that um, so this is a Western painting I sign in English I can use initial or just is my my uh, signature style okay let me just do it too maybe on the corner here huh um, this corner maybe better okay that completes the <coughs> the painting I hope you got inspiration and you should uh, keep exploring and, um, excuse me harry can you just put a little bit up we can see your sign i think maybe your um your screen your your screen is smaller than mine i, I, can, I don't know yeah let's see maybe yeah are you in, in the fourth screen view or maybe it's off the okay. yeah i i, I can certainly see the whole painting here let me make sure it's focused so you can take a sharp so you got the, uh, <clears throat> okay we will stop the broadcasting now on youtube see you next wednesday same time, okay. I will uh -huh. we'll learn birds and flower tree blossom. Thank you, thank you, Andy. Very nice class, very nice, beautiful class. Thank you. Thank you, Charlie.